Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, we're going to do a little something simple. This little guy right here is the Fisher & Paykel humidifier. Now, they use these guys with uh, breathing circuits, usually for pediatrics or people that are going to be ventilated for long periods of time because ventilation gases are kind of dry. They tend to dry out your interior and because the air is cold, it can rob your body of heat internally. So. This provides heat and stability for uh, for the body, and at the same time, it provides much needed moisture for the respiratory system. So this is the Fisher and Paykel. Uh, this is the MR850, and in order to do a calibration for this guy, now I'm not going to run through the full PM, but they say you don't need to do the voltage calibration on it if it has not been modified and it appears to be working normally to which then you just need to do a temperature calibration. Well, the temperature calibration involves this little guy. I'll leave the part number in the description below. The price for this guy is about, I don't know, $130, something like that. Let's take a look at the breathing circuit that normally fits on this guy. So this is a consumable. The wires detach from it, and this little jig right here plugs into the side port. There's two different temperature probes or heaters Let's see, one of them is the heater and one of them is temperature, temperature probe. My bad. <laughs> okay, so this one is the heater, the top one. And the uh, bottom one's temperature probe, which is the one we're going to be actually calibrating. So the heater is actually a filament that goes up and inside the tubing. And it's really difficult to show on camera. You can kind of see the coil right there. So it goes up and inside. So it's heating the air up here and is heating it here with this platter. See the metal platter? So what happens is they load the consumable and they fill it with a certain amount uh, right up to this point of whatever it is that they're going to be inhaling. Uh, you attach the hose that goes to your patient and then the heater wire attaches and then the temperature probe also attached to the blue port right there. So what we are going to do in order to do a calibration, temperature calibration check, we get this little jig right here and you can see I've written on one side a 1 and on the blue side I have a 2 because there are two different sensors that we are going to be calibrating. So uh, the first one's going to be involving the gray so I'm going to leave it right there. In order to get this guy in the service mode you have to hold down the power button while you're plugging it in and this all kind of happens quickly so watch how I do this so here we go holding it in it goes six five four three two when it gets the one press this button over here and we're gonna plug in the gray now the value that you're looking for is a hundred if it's above or below a hundred it's not going to pass this test. So we let it stabilize at 100, make sure that it's in fact going to read the right temperature. And then we unplug it. And then it goes to 2. And we activate it on 2. And what we are looking for is 200. So I'm going to let it sit there and stabilize. And then we press the mute button that takes us back out. And it'll sit on end for a little bit and then it will kick out of service mode. There we go. And now I reboot it and it goes back into normal operations. Now, it, this actually got a cool little diagram over here. You can see that it's telling you to plug in your ports. And it's also telling you that, hey, it's looking for the heating element on your looking for the heating element on your respiratory circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in so you can see what happens. Okay, so you can see as I plugged in the heating element, that part went away. Now it's looking for a temperature sensor. You can see it right there. So I will plug in the gray. And there it goes. It goes into a heat and it's actually working. 
So this is a mode button, this is the power button, and this over here is the alarm silence button. And uh, that's all the functionality of this device. It's really simple. So the PMs on these guys, uh, actually, another thing I should probably point out is that this is an isolated device. Uh, it's double insulated, so that's with the little square with a human in it. So that means that you are not going to get correct electrical safety readings on this guy. Um, usually not, anyway. Let's go ahead and disconnect that guy. I'm going to shut it off. Alright, so I'm going to run through the calibration one more time at full speed so that you guys can really see what's going on. So I'm going to hold down the power button, plug it in. Six, five, four, three, two, one, activate. It's going to get to 100. Hit mute. Six. I hit mute again to start the cycle again. Four, three, two. And that stabilizes at 200. Press mute. And then it goes to end, and then it will power itself off. There it goes. Now it goes into regular functionality. All right, guys, so that is the Fisher & Paykel humidifier. Just a simple temperature calibration check. And uh, let me know what you guys think. It's a very simple device. We see them throughout the whole entire facility, but we got to do little checks every single year. So here we are. Thanks for watching, guys.